Gordon the big engine was feeling ill. Whenever he went out to pull a train, he would strain, and usually couldn't go very fast. The Fat Controller finally decided to send Gordon to the works. While Gordon was away, James the Red Engine took over the Express. He did a tremendous job and was always on time. This made James a very conceited. I should pull the Express all the time. I always arrive on time and make sure everything runs like clockwork. The other engines just ignored him, except Thomas. If you want to be early, said Thomas, then you might want to get your boot laces ready. Everyone laughed except James. That night, there was a very large storm, and in the morning, there were lots of trees all over the track. Harvey and the Breakdown Gang tried their best to get all the trees off the line before the trains were due to go out. Meanwhile, on the Scarlowy Railway, Scarlowy was pulling passengers. He was having a splendid time and stopped at the picnic area to let off some people. The rain had hit hard there too. Rusty and Mr. Hugh did their best to clear the lines, but there was only one Rusty and many dangerous parts of the line. Scarlowy whistled and puffed away. Further down the line, there was a tree. It was old and long deceased. The storm had weakened the soil, and the earth finally gave way, and the tree fell down onto the tracks. Scarlowy was on the same line. He ran over the tree forcefully and pushed it off the rails. Oh, ouch! He cried. His crew inspected the damage. The cylinder was cracked in the middle, and it was leaking steam. We must get to the station on time, he cried. I had promised James. The day before, James had stopped at the workstation and asked Scarlowy if he could be there on time so James could prove he was fast and smooth. All right, all right, slow down, boy. You're heavily damaged and won't get far. I can't let the passengers or James down. I will do it. Scarlowy's driver finally gave in. Here we go, boy. Steady now. The driver sanded the rails and skillfully moved Scarlowy forward. Puff by puff, he gained ground and gripped the rails. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. He puffed fiercely. The workstation was in sight. Scarlaby glanced at the platform to see no engine there. With one last exhausting puff, he slunk tiredly into the station. Phew, remarked the driver. I didn't doubt you for a second, old boy. James hurried into the station looking most embarrassed. Beep, beep, beep. Whistled James. Sorry I'm late. I was boasting to the other engines on how I was going to be early here, and I missed the signal turn green. Scarlowy laughed. Oh dear, James, it looks like I kept your promise, but you didn't finish your end of the bargain.